Hello friends, I welcome you all to .NET Tech's Amazon Web Services course. My name is Yashpal Singh and I am an AWS certified. The purpose of uh, creating this course is not only to prepare for your certification but also guide you uh, in your quest to become a successful cloud solution architect. In this particular video, we are going to explain the latest exam guide which you should follow for your preparation uh, for the certification exam as well as the certification roadmap laid out by AWS. Till February 2018, this was the exam guide which uh, were followed in various uh, AWS Solution Architect Associate certification exams where a particular importance being given to four uh, major domains where the domain one will check your knowledge about designing highly available cost efficient fault tolerant and scalable systems uh, which uh, in itself makes a 60 percent of the total uh, certification exam component uh, second one is implementation and deployment which is 10 percent data security for 20 percent and troubleshooting 10 percent in total they make up 100% of the Solution Architect Associate exam syllabus. From February 2018, a new exam in AWS Endeavor to keep its uh, uh, certification very much industry relevant as well as highly competitive. Now, that doesn't mean that those who are preparing for the older version, they should change their practice or preparation ways or the preparation material. It, the only difference is the foundational services are same but the difference the only difference is you need to focus on more on particular areas but relax till August 2018 both the certification exam uh, based on new and old exam guide will remain available if you have started afresh we will recommend that you follow the new exam guide if not, if you are preparing already, you can go for the old exam. Your certification will re still remain relevant, will still considered as good as new, and it will going to carry the same uh, time limit for expiry, which is two years for any AWS certification exam. Now, in the new exam guide, impetus is on five domains instead of four in the older one. The five domains are design resilient architectures, define performant architectures, specify secure applications and architectures, design cost efficient architectures, and define operationally excellent architectures. So basically, it's more focused about providing solution in uh, more in terms of infra infrastructure or uh, application of or web services architecture. So and these five domains carries the percentage a component of percentage weightage of 34%, 24%, 26%, 10% and 6% respectively. So it's up to you which one, which exam you want to go for based on the old guide or the new guide. As I said, they both will remain available till August 2018. Uh, the old one will only get expired after that. Till that time, you have the chance to, uh, to go for the old one. But uh, uh, but if you compare these two exam guides, you will find that they are very much the same. The foundational services are same, uh, the concepts are the same, uh, the areas which you should study or which you should pro particularly focus on are almost the same. It's only the difference is that uh, there will be a more number of scenarios, the crisp scenarios which are business relevant, a particular domain of uh, industry. Uh, some industry are working in finance, some industry have some uh, would need some solution related to their e-commerce. So you need to understand, you need to think in terms of those businesses. And uh, let me assure you, if you go through this course properly and um, go through the resources that we mentioned, we can definitely expect that you will be able to uh, not only clear this certification, but also you will be able to work on AWS platform with ease, with full confidence and providing better solution to your clients and to your customers. Now moving on to the certification uh, path, certification roadmap as laid out by 
aws.amazon.com slash certification there are certain level of certifications which you should follow like for foundational it is for basically for the people who are very much new to the aws they should opt for this it's aws certified cloud practitioner it's uh, cover the exam it's cover the entire gamut of services offered by aws but it's not mandatory so it's not mandatory that for going for associate level you have to do cloud practitioner certification no it's not you can go for associate even without uh, the cloud practitioner cert but people generally tend to prefer this uh, certification because this certification gave them the idea of length and breadth of the services the number of services the variety of services and uh, and a very decent idea about what kind of businesses aws can support in fact i don't think that there's any business which uh, aws platform cannot support cannot support right now it's uh, the services in in their totality they can support each and every single kind of business which is out there in the real world now uh, moving on to uh, cloud practitioner level there is an associate level and after that there is a professional level for professional level certification you have to have this associate level certifications it's a mandatory and uh, this particular course that we are going to design uh, is uh, keeping in mind the solution architect associate level and in fact we are going to follow the same uh, guidelines set by AWS. So at the associate level there are three exams AWS certified solution architect associate, AWS certified developer associate, AWS certified sysops administrator associate. After that they are being followed by the professional levels of in the same uh, niche where AWS certified solution architect professional, AWS certified DevOps engineer professional, AWS certified DevOps engineer professional. Apart from these uh, seven certifications of AWS in different domains, there are three uh, specialty exams also being introduced in networking, in big data and in security. So people who have certain level of uh, say that expertise or they want to specialize in particular domain, the domain which uh, make them feel inc inquisitive, which they feel uh, curious about, they can go for that particular domain. And they're very much like the certification which AWS has entered, they are very much market relevant, very much business relevant. And they were actually able to gauge the competency of any uh, candidate out there. So it's not like that there's a mismatch. It's, it's been ensured that uh, by AWS that those who are actually going for the certification are in real world also they'll be able to provide the solution so it's it's like carrying the solution architect a tag is not enough you have to provide solutions you have to provide solution in the real world so uh, that's it guys that's it for this video if you have any feedback for me you can share with us you can share at dotnetrix you can visit our dotnetrix website and share your feedback We'll try to ensure this. Uh, we'll try to ensure this program uh, very current. We'll try to keep it very much updated. In case you find any new information, any new update, or you find that any slide or any particular information is outdated or incorrect, please uh, contact us. Please provide your feedback, and those constructive criticism are accepted all the time at .NET Tricks. Thank you very much, friends. Uh, let's meet you in the next video. Thank you.